What's up guys? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. This is not my car behind me. This is Mike's car, of course. We're back over at uh, Josh's garage. We got Mike and Josh, underground garage. If y'all want to follow him on YouTube, he's got uh, Crispy up there about going. I don't know if that's the official name or not. Is that the official name? Uh, not until right now, apparently. <laughs> so I just, I like I, it, crispy. crispy. <laughs> uh, he caught on fire. That was last year, wasn't it? Yeah. Last year at Streetcar Takeover. And uh, so he's just getting everything back together, motor blowed up, but it's uh, pretty nice making a bunch of power. It is working good. So uh, Mike's been struggling a little bit with his, but uh, go check Josh out on his YouTube channel, Underground Garage. And he also does, what do you do? How much do you charge now for a dyno? So, tuning over here or dy dy dyno use dyno use yeah i don't do any tuning uh it's 100 bucks an hour and just kind of master your own destiny man i'm happy to give opinion or tell you what i think <laughs> but when it comes to making the call on how much timing or boost and all that stuff i'm just not comfortable i just don't think i'm good enough at it i don't want to so so uh, so josh is going to be tuning on mics today Right. Um, so, <laughs> so look, we got two. We got two guys here that don't, neither one of us can't tune. We both got decent ideas, but neither one of us claimed to be a tuner. And Mike has uh, elicited us to help him not blow up his car. I don't. I don't well, know. The goal, the goal here is <laughs> find out the truth behind the stock bottom end. Stock bottom end. So let me go over the details of what you got now. I don't know if y'all remember. Mike had a bunch of issues. But come hit Josh up. Uh, you can find him on Facebook. Josh, how do you spell your last name? It's uh, Kenzie, K-I-N-Z-E-Y. So go check him out on Facebook, Dino Use. Pretty much any time on the weekend, $100 an hour. Uh, strap it down to a chassis dyno. And this thing, what's your, what's your chassis record now? Uh, it is 1150 horsepower, 918. Woo, 1150. So it'll hold some power. So if y'all want some tuning, come check him out. All right, guys, so Mike's catching us up. So he was just talking. He said <laughs> the time before last, he called it the Gold Rush episode. And that's exactly what it was, wasn't it? That was uh, the timing cover was what? Leaking. Leaking. And pulled the timing cover off and found all the bearing material, pulled the motor out. Well, it wouldn't, wouldn't turn over 61. Right. Still made plenty of power, though. It made power, just wouldn't turn over 61. Um, so, but it ruptured here over his floor. So I, I took it back to the shop, and then obviously that's what we found. Right. Uh, and it, it wiped the crank, wiped four rods, four, three bearings, four pistons, and it was still making power. I had no idea it was tore up. No I idea. mean, that's what I mean. That's what was crazy. Yeah. So we made a thousand eighty. You know. So we were trying to theorize you just, know, what happened, what went, what went wrong. Good crank, good rods, good pistons, all that good block, all that happy stuff. Uh, and ultimately, balancer. ultimately, w what I found is the Innovative West Balancer has a, uh, an extra collar on it. Right. Uh, and it was hitting the back of the oil pump. Wasn't going on the crankshaft far enough. It was only on a half inch. Oh, I got you. So with the side slinger, with all the torque on the belt, it was just bending the crank. So it was just putting everything out of out of alignment. Uh, not giving it the balance. It wasn't balancing. It wasn't dampening the harmonics. Nope. And with the the loud blower, I mean, you got zoomies on it, so the thing, can't honestly, it. It, you can't hear nothing. I mean, it would sound like it, it would have to, it have to be drastically broke to hear that it ain't running. Yeah, right outside the block, kind of. Right. So he was putting the side slinger back on it and talked to a bunch of people, found the issue, and obviously side slinger stuff is hard on the crankshaft. Yes, I mean, it really is uh, because of the belt and the torque. That's how they come up with the gear drive stuff. So he got a hold of who's who's the gear drive is this? Chris Austin. Chris Austin gear, gear drive. So I got all the parts and pieces for that, and now the gear drive is on. Now this is the smaller Pro Charger. Uh, he's got the the bracketry to do a you said a F2 F3 as F2, well at F2. some point. But right now, so this motor is this motor is good head ported heads. What is it? Ported ported stock heads? Just ported stock heads with good valves and springs. And then the bottom end is stock crank, stock rods, stock crank, stock rods with aftermarket pistons. Decent set of pistons. Woo. Okay. So is that the is it a Gen Four rod? Is that what it yeah, is? Gen Four rod. So that's the stronger LS rod. Stronger than LS. So we're gonna find out. <laughs> so his good motor is almost back together. What? 
waiting on dark machinery for two billet caps. Waiting for some caps because the caps on the block got tore up. So as soon as he gets that back, he's gonna have the good motor. So it'll, that'll be just a swap and play though. I mean, it'll swap yeah, right in. Bolt right in. Right, so just be a, a thing to do it. He, had, he redid everything, redid all his, um, the radiator. We thought that the crank was, you know, obviously the crank was bent. So when I sent that crank, well, sent that block to the machine shop, they tore it apart and said, yeah, okay, crank's bent. You got four rods that are tore up, four pistons that are tore up. Oh, you know. So I said, all right, fine. I'll order, get a new crank, get a new set of rods and a new set of pistons, send it to the other machine shop where the other block is at. And then I get a phone call from Danny telling me, hey, we fixed your crank. Right. And we only had to turn the mains 10. So he's gonna end up having, you're gonna end up having almost enough to do two good motors. Right, the motor's done. So that one's done and- I took all the parts okay. from the other one and it's now in another stock bottom end, or in stock block. All good parts in a stock all block. All good parts, uh, another ported set of LS square port heads. Uh, different cam. So realistically, if you were to order another aftermarket block now, you would have two spectacular motors. That's right. I mean, cause only, not- Only one, because when that was bombed, <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna pick up that extra one. So we're, gonna, we're starting this year off potentially with three motors. Three motors, yeah. unless we destroy one today, which we're not gonna try, that's not the goal. I mean, we're not, we're just trying to make this thing so that it's, um, see how it the, does. The big motor, the dark block's gonna come back. Uh, Secret squirrel stuff is going to come back close to 500 cubic inches. Oh my goodness. So it's going to be a radical route. So it will be it will ready. Have Do you want to share how much power yours made? Uh, on 20 pounds boost, it made 918. 918. And, so, and that's a uh, good rods and piston LS. Got some, some Jose turbo stuff on it. What size turbos were they? Board S369s. 369s. So uh, this thing, he's got, look, check this out. This thing's got full exhaust and it has uh, boost activated cutouts. So that when it gets, what what boost pressure does it get up to when it, when they open? Just a couple? Uh, about four pounds. Four, four pounds, they open up. Yeah, so, it's really simple, man. It's just a- uh, That's pretty cool. Uh, it's just a canister spring deal, like a right. old vacuum advance on a distributor or a- That's pretty cool. Uh, wastegate actuator on a turbo. That that is pretty cool, man. This is a pretty cool car. So he'll be back out right. soon. Right there is the air conditioning compressor. So we still got AC on this guy. It's a street car. I was giving him a hard time about being a race car. He's like, dude, I got full exhaust all the way out the back. And I was like, well, yeah, maybe. <laughs> all right. In the, in the in the meantime, you know, the the fuel pump had to reverse it because it was on the opposite side. Oh yeah. So. Running out of space for a stock K member on a Dodge. All right. Uh, I had to fix the shock tower because I had to cut it to fit the Pro Charger. So I had to put the rail back. Uh, All right. Had to go to the junkyard and find me a shock tower, cut it apart. Radiator couldn't go because there's no room. So I had to get a different radiator. And now I've plumbed it all with number 16 and it goes out sideways. So it blows the heat out the uh, wheel well. All right. That's a good idea too. Instead of pulling it in. Uh, so, and then I'm worried that if I try taking the filter off, uh, how much trash it's gonna suck up from the bottom. All right. So uh, I think I'm gonna build a belly pan or something. All right. I mean, that's what, I mean, most people run them without filters. Did y'all ever dyno this one with the filter? Didn't it make, didn't it make well, more power with the filter? We, didn't we do that at one point? Well, I had the tube. Right. Uh, and then uh, we took the filter off and it made more power with the filter on it. That's right, that's right. I, yeah, that was when we first put it on the dyno, which that was kind of insane. What gear, what, what ratio do you have now with the uh, the blower, is it? This is, uh, the gear ratio is geared exactly like the belt setup. Oh, okay. With the you. smallest bullet. So, so it should, so that's the, so that's the big boost. That's the big boost. Okay, well we, we'll, we need to, what all we gotta do to it today? You said we gotta verify time and. Uh, I pulled, because of the way the timing pointer is on the gear drive, we had, right. I had to take it off. Uh, change the balancer from ATI to the Innovative West. Fix the balancer problem. Right. Well, I pulled top dead center yesterday with a scope, made sure it was on zero, and from when we set it up at the shop, right. uh, it was set at 28 degrees. Okay. So with the old balancer and tab. So I think the first thing we should do, you know, it's kind of hard to do that by yourself, but verify that we are at 28 degrees. If not, we can move the tab. All right. Uh, 
And so we know which we can change it electronically in the in right, the computer too. Offset, right? We can do an offset on there to, easier than doing it on the on the bottom, which it should still be pretty close though. So, all right, so we're going to verify timing. Uh, he's got this thing in here. Josh is over there now finishing locking this thing down. So uh, we'll put this thing spin it up on the dyno here. Uh, probably need to take a degree or two of timing out of it. Yeah. Still on methanol. Still, you know, same same tune up that was in here before. So, I mean, it should be, it should be fine. It should be okay. It's a little, little smaller cubic inches, but. All right. Um, we just knocked the timing back. I figure somewhere up between 15, 18. All right. We'll start and then work our way up. All right, let's make some pulls. Let's adjust the timing and make some pulls. All right, guys, so we're gonna go ahead and verify timing. So he's already hooked up. Timing light, basically you got positive and negative, and then you go to the number one spark plug. So when you're looking at an engine, the number one is always the furthest forward. All right, so he's gonna crank it up right now. Starting timing is down at 14 degrees. It's gonna crank up and run, and then it'll jump up to the running timing, and then they're gonna verify it. Everybody ready? Yep. Let it rip. guys so we got the timing adjusted joey got over here too he's uh hanging out and helping uh he's he's actually tuning it today joey is the tuner today we all have claimed zero responsibility so <laughs> i don't know who's actually tuning it apparently i'm the one typing on the keys but i'm just putting in what y'all are telling me to um okay so they're fixing to crank it up ride it on the rollers uh timing was off just a little bit so it has got minus six in the computer uh, it had minus three, and so we put it on 30 degrees, and it was reading 33. So we put minus six, and so now it is reading 30. Uh, we did con tighten down the timing just a little bit. Air fuel ratio looks pretty good. Uh, the timing, I'll show you all the map real fast. It is very conservative. They wanted to take, this is a, a, a bl very blocky map. They're, this is what happens when you get non-tuners tuning. Uh, you get squares. So uh, basically we're gonna be up here about 13, 14 degrees. We think it's, they think it's gonna make about 30, 30 pounds of boost based on what the other one did. Um, I don't really know because I don't know. Oh yeah, he's got a, uh, uh, what is that? Who, who did that? Clifton Innovations. Clifton Innovations. So this is the density altitude in the water grains. Uh, so, uh, yeah, so we got some really good air and it's not live right now. So it's just froze air. Usually that's fluctuating just a little bit. Uh, timing map, or that was the timing map. So the fueling, so the target air fuel ratio that we got uh, there again is, should be really safe and conservative. So here we go. He's gonna try it.
So it looks like the transmission is not going into high gear for some reason. It's got fir first gear seems good. So uh, it's gonna take transmission fluid. Uh, might have to climb up in there and check the band. But uh, okay, so uh, the shifter linkage seems like it might have come out of adjustment. So he got up under there and it wasn't going into high gear on the transmission. So he's got it adjusted now. So we're gonna try it again here. So hopefully this is gonna work. I think his bracket might be flexing a little bit in there. So maybe this will work for at least for the dyno so he can redo it. We'll fix it and see if it works now. Ready? Why is it surging so yeah, bad all of a sudden? Yeah, what, what happened there? Is it out of fuel? No, it's got half a thing of fuel. So it's surging bad. I'm gonna look at the tune up real fast. Yeah. 